picks up when you tell it to. Like I said, the rear's a little more complicated. I gotta do up and down at the same time. Oh, wrong ones. What's going on guys? So, I have a video on that. Oh, camera's a little high. On that right there. Um, but I wanted to shoot a video on the truck first talking about the suspension and whatnot. Um, since the shop's been up, this is what I've been focusing on. I've been working on it real hard, getting everything working. I'm gonna fire up the air compressor. We're gonna lift the truck up. Uh, do all that kind of stuff. We'll talk about the air system, what's going on, where we're at. Um, but basically this will be like, because we lost all the footage on how to bag your C30, um, we'll go over all that. We'll go over what bags I ended up going with because I didn't use the original bags that I bought. I ended up getting bigger bags. So we're gonna go over that. We're gonna go over what I had to do up front because I did have to make quite a few modifications up front. Uh, what happened in the rear, just everything. We're gonna go over everything. But the truck is 99% ready to put the motor in at this point. I gotta run fuel lines, um, which are supposed to be here today. And so the reason I gotta run fuel lines is the Chevy has the fuel lines on this side, the Cummins has the fuel lines on this side. So we're gonna go back, cross over in the back, and then come up this way with fuel lines. Um, and that cross member right there, we gotta cut that out, get the drive shaft out, then we can put the motor in, build the tranny mount, and we'll be good to go. So anyways, before Levi started the air compressor, which we now moved over here so we can give air to that, I was gonna say yesterday I drove the hard body. It's been the first time in like forever. But uh, working on that too, trying to get it good to go. But like I said, today we're gonna focus on this. So, I'm gonna talk about everything, start to finish on the air system, the four link, uh, and what we did up front. So, to start out, I got this kit um, off eBay. I think his name is Alex. I'll uh, put his Instagram down below. But this is his bolt-in six link kit. What's up, dude? Oh my goodness, you're always sad. I want the other thing. No, I'm using it. Get out of here. What for? To air up the truck. This? Yes. I can shoot it. I'm going to shoot you. Okay. All right, get out of here. Shooting a video. Um, so this is his four link kit, bolt in. So it bolts where the leaf spring hangers were and a few other things, uh, it bolts to the axle and you can use these two bolts up here to adjust your pinion angle. It's a pretty trick kit, it's real nice. Um, it's a cantilever bag suspension, so um, it's supposed to ride really good. I don't know a whole lot about air suspension, but this is cantilever and then you have bag on bar, which is where the airbag would be up here, and then you have bag over axle where it would go here. I don't know what I was talking about. Anyway, so that's his four link kit. Um, we have a pan hard bar here. I don't remember who it's from, but we modified it to fit. This bracket right here was perfectly straight and we bent it so that the bar can travel up and down. Uh, airbags, we went with Airlift Dominator 2600s. Um, we originally had 2500s in here. They didn't give me enough lift. These give almost 12 inches of lift. So we decided to go with these. Uh, and I think that's really about it for the rear suspension. We're just using like DOT 3 8 line. We went with 3 8 because we wanted the truck to air up fast and air down quickly. Um, up here, we did get most everything from Air Slam It in Phoenix because they're in Phoenix. That's why I went with them. But we have their five gallon tanks. So we have two five gallon tanks and we have two of their compressors. I don't remember what these compressors are. And then we have an Evolve manifold. Um, all that's bolted down, none of it's tight. You can like move it, but it's there. That's how it's gonna be. Uh, we're using air lift, no, no, level ride. Level ride air management system is what we have. So right here on the manifold, it picks up all our pressures from each bag 
And currently these are correct, but the controls on my phone aren't correct. So actually the front is the back and one of the bags, when you air it up, it airs down. Um, so I don't know if the Evolve chart was bad or the airlift, or not the airlift, the uh, level ride wire diagram was bad, but one of them was bad because I wired them up exactly how they were supposed to be. Um, and it's not correct. But yeah, so there's that. There's that. Here's these. Everything here. Uh, we have this just so we can air it up, but I do want to put one of these on, these on this truck. That way we can uh, air up a set of tires at the racetrack, that kind of thing. Let's go to the front and we can talk about this mess that the front was. <laughs> Carissa's my camera guy because Bo is gone. Um, but anyways, come on over here and we can talk about all this crap. So I went with new lower ball or uh, new lower ball joints. It doesn't have new lower ball joints in, but that's because it has brand new lower control arms. So we put new lower control arms in it and we pocketed them. Um, I believe those are two and a half inch pockets. And then the pockets weren't big enough for these bags. So I actually cut them down the middle, widened them, and then re-welded them on the bottom so that they would fit. Doing this allowed the truck to air all the way out, um, which we'll probably show. I'll probably air the truck all the way up. It has jack stands underneath it right now because we were getting ready to put the motor in. But uh, we'll air it up. We'll show you guys what it looks like. Air it up, air it down. Um, and really that's about it. It's been super simple. Everything's been good. The only thing that I had to do um, was right here where it goes into this cross member to get to the bag. I wrapped it in some fuel line on both sides just to keep it from rubbing a hole in itself. I also may need to do some right here on this brake line because that's kind of rubbing. And then I just have it, it's got metal um, like little straps that are holding it all the way down both sides. But yeah, that's really it. The air suspension was fairly simple. It was fairly easy. The front was the worst part, getting both of these to work, neither one of them to rub. Just all the crap we had to do up here was really crazy. And you have to undo and redo the lower ball joint every single time. So it's just a pain in the butt. Um, it also has two inch, I do believe, drop knuckles on the front. They might be three inch, I don't remember. But it's got drop knuckles. But yeah, so that's it. I'm going to get it hooked up with air, get it filled up, and we'll show you what it looks like. All right, so here's the truck. Um, it has 100 pounds in the rear and about 90 pounds up front. And the truck's pretty level. It is uh, 0 0.6 degrees rear down, which is perfectly fine. That doesn't bother us any. We can uh, do this. Um, it's real loud. That's when the air comes out. I don't want to crush our wires here. So that's the front all the way down. Now we can uh, do the rear. Now, if you notice, the truck kind of rocked back. There's a bracket right here for this step that's a piece of angle iron, and it's underneath the frame rail, and it's just a little too tall. So the truck rocks on that point. So we got to kind of trim that up, redesign the mount of the uh, running board a little. But for the most part, it's pretty done. Picks up when you tell it to. Like I said, the rear's a little more complicated. I got to do up and down at the same time. Oh, wrong ones. I know it's empty right now. There's no weight on the truck, but I'm pretty happy with how quickly it goes up and how quickly it goes down. I think it's working perfect. Um, like I said, this is basically where we want the truck to ride. Let me lower the front a little, get the truck level because we have height sensors. So the truck will always be level, loaded, unloaded. It doesn't matter. Oh, I went too far. Oh, yeah. 
So right about there is about level. That's uh, 0.13 forward is the way the truck's leaning. So pretty, pretty stinking level. We can fine tune it once we uh, get the sensors on and then it won't be as drastic. With all the weight on the truck, when we air up the front, it'll, it'll be a little slower going up so we can get it all dialed in. Perfect, and we'll be able to level it side to side. But overall, I'm super happy. I'm super happy with everything. I gotta rewire some stuff here, but the tanks are working, all the suspension's working, the axle doesn't shift very far um, left to right. And the way you uh, control that is with your pan hard bar. So you wanna set it as level as you can at, from what I understand, mid-travel. I don't know if it's supposed to be right height or mid-travel or whatever. We did mid-travel, um, and honestly, it's, it's pretty perfect. Super happy with it. Raylan, shh, shh, shh. We're gonna sheet all up here, underneath the tanks and in front of the valve and stuff. Raylan, Raylan. So anyways, we're going to sheet underneath these tanks and then up underneath the, um, the manifold and whatnot, make that kind of look good. I'm trying to decide what exactly I want to do with the bed floor. I'm thinking about just raising it, you know, however much this is. It's going to have to be a little bit higher than this because the axle comes up, the, like the pumpkin comes up higher than this. And this has all got to be braced and we want to put a gooseneck hitch in here. So we have to make sure it's high enough to clear all that. So I was thinking, hopefully, like two or three more inches up should be enough. Um, but yeah, I don't know exactly what we're gonna do with the bed. It's gonna take a little bit of time. We'll have to figure that out. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the update on the Dooley. It's going well. Um, we have a P-Pump video coming up, which has to do with the AFC on the, on the motor, turning it up. Um, we're trying to get as much fuel as possible to this thing. Eventually, we're going to twin turbo, not twin turbo it, we're going to compound turbo it and put head studs in it. So we're just trying to prep all the fuel for that. That way we don't have to deal with that later. We'll just throw injectors in it, head studs, and a bigger turbo. Um, so that video will be up next. But I wanted to give an update video on the truck before we did that and run over all the suspension with you guys. If you guys got any questions, just let me know. Um, but yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later.